Um, we'll just do technique and blah, blah, blah. You know, working our cardio still and all that. And then JT gets a phone call from Jason literally like 30 seconds after finishing that talk. And Jason tells us, hey, uh, I think March 13th is the magic date. So. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like the 12th is going to happen or 13th is going to happen. Yeah, it doesn't look like yeah. February's happening, so uh, we'll push that hard sparring back another few weeks. So that was kind of... Uh, stretched out our camp. Yeah, definitely stretched out our camp. But it was cool because, I mean, we've been getting ready since mid-December. So it's like I know that all of us have been putting in a tremendous amount of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool, hard sparring, um, yeah. headgear and all. I think it was good, though, because, uh, you know, we got more weeks to focus on what we needed to work on. and. I think we've grown so much in this camp, just just this camp alone. You guys, from that first camp till now, it's like almost done with the growth, I can yeah. say. Yeah, huh. yeah, it's like, it definitely feels a lot different. I know, I, I like as a as a fighter in general, and as like a martial artist, I feel um, just levels above from where I was. So, um, and I, I wouldn't be there if it wasn't for the team that I have here too, because I know that all of us as a team are growing. So that's another thing as well. So. My my growth is a reflection of everybody else's growth here as well. So, yeah. and it also helps getting that first fight out of the way. It's just the experience that comes from that. It's huge. And I think this is the perfect opponent for me to, uh, you know, find out what I'm about. My that chance last time was definitely the toughest opponent that I think could have. Yeah. I could have had for sure. Him being the D1 wrestler, um, and just having such the, you know, he's obviously a good gym and a great team to take those things that I learned from that fight and to implement it in here, my growth is going to be, I think it's going to show a lot where both of us like to stand up and they're going to try and take us down. Win or lose, you'll come out um, knowing exactly what you need for the next one, which is for right? that's what it's That's where the experience comes in, is you know what you need on. for the next time. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's going to be super fun to, it's it's gonna be surprising. Just, to just scroll, scroll, scroll. Yeah, scroll yeah, yeah dude, it's, it's going to make them work. Up your exactly. own there, right? Yeah. It's yeah, gonna be killing it on that. Yeah, if, if, if anybody thinks that it's gonna be a, a walk in the park on March 13th, they're they're so wrong. Yeah. They're so wrong. Cause that's one thing, and we're no punks. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no, ain't no punks. <laughs> so sure. dog war. I I want to drag it on because I want to be able to show who I am. Like I want to show like the tools that I have. I want to show all the all the work that I put in in the last year from that fight. All the mm -hmm. growth. Cause they've been putting in so much work, so much work, just beating up on each other during our hard sparring nights, you know, taking it easy when we're not doing hard sparring, but still getting work in. Like, we got like the perfect mix right now, where these guys are healthy, they're ready to go. It's like we got through the hard part, and now we're just maintaining, you know, the cardio, keeping it up, getting the weight down. It's, it's like the home stretch right now. And once weight is made, it's like, you guys are going to see what these guys are capable of and it's going to be cool. Their opponents better be ready because when they hit them the first time, if they do, they better be ready for that fire that's going to be coming out of them because these boys are definitely going to be breaking something once they get hit that first time. Yeah, I'm super yeah. confident that wherever it goes, these guys are going to do well. They're fighting in the middle of the cage, trying to keep the circle. They know what to do if they're fighting you know, against the cage. They know what to do if it hits the ground, they know what to do. It's like there's no realm right now that yeah. we left unturned in this camp. He thought he did well last time, just wait. I, yeah. I sparred with this guy last year and I sparred with him recently and it's just a different a different yeah. person. Come prepared, be ready. Because if you're not ready, then it's going to be a sad night. That's it. Yeah, for sure. Hope you make weight. <laughs> make weight. Make, make weight. Don't, make get don't get COVID and show up. I swear. Show up. I swear yeah. if you don't make weight. <laughs> take your vitamins. Yeah. I want to. I want to eat good food after this, but I want to fight. So make weight. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Christoph and Zasweta competing for rough 39 is the number. Uh, it was. It's basically a reschedule from from last year. Yeah. But it's taking place at the Glendale Civic Center, right? That's where the the new spot is. Uh, no no crowd in attendance, but you can get the pay-per-view online. I think right now it's on special for like 20 bucks, which is ridiculous for the amount of fights that you're going to get. Yeah, so check it out. You go to, what is it? RoughMMA.net. Rough um, you can uh, select fighters. If you get the chance, select either Master Sweat or Justin Kristoff. I promise sure. you it's going to mm -hmm. be a fun night. Um, don't miss it. It's going to be good. We put in tons of work, and we're ready to show. We're going to let things fly. Leather's going to be slain, so mm -hmm. we're ready for it. Yeah. Anything. Yes, sir. Any deep waters. All right, beautiful.